Hi everybody, let's take a look at the time and date. Today is November 18th, 2014. And welcome to today's L of Explorings by Jim Lee Elevators update on my created Otis Lexan elevator panel made out of foam. Well, there are some updates going on. Last time when I did that video was a week from today, which is Veterans Day. And speaking of that, look at my elevator buttons. Look at this. Let me go let me go to the right and push it over there just for the case of it. You see that? Let me zoom out and I'll show you. Sorry about that, just bumped the tripod. You see that? Does that look familiar? You know what that means? That's right, my, my other Lexan elevator button panel has been updated with a green lighting. Green light for up, and then red slash blue for down. Oop, sorry about that, I almost dropped it. And what I'm going to show you is how we did this. So. It's kind of low light, so we're going to use the flashlight app on my Samsung Galaxy S2. To get a better view. There we go. See, this is how this foam looks like. Now I'm going to, now we're going to take this piece out and I'll show you how this was done. So what I'm going to do is put my phone right there. And make sure the camera can see it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to gently pull this out like I showed you in the previous video I did. Got to be a little careful because there's the wiring in. And the battery's inside, see? This elevator button right here is, is hooked up with a battery. So that's the battery right there and I'll show you what this looks like. I'm not sure if I'll be able to take it out. Gotta gotta take out really carefully. I know this is gonna be really hard. Oh, and I got it out. See this right here is the other Otis Lexan elevator button itself. And however, the light just went out because I took it out. See, this is what it looks like. And this thing is hooked up to this battery. Let me show you. See this right here? Once this camera will focus, this is hooked up to the Duracell battery. And I, want, I wonder why this thing is out of light. Probably something went wrong. But before we place it back in, I'm going to fix it up. So... I'm going to stop the camera here and come back in a few moments. Alright. I found the wiring thing right here. And what we're going to we're going to do is we're going to we rewire this thing back on camera using my Otis Lexan elevator button. Before we do that, I'll let you get one more look at the contact block. See that right there is the contact block. So we'll focus. And the light, see that little green light bulb in there? It's right inside there. So, this right here is positive, and this right here is the negative. Now let's take a look at the battery wiring. Let me put the screw down, this sort of screwdriver or whatever that thing is. See this, see this yellow wiring thing? As you see right here, this is the positive side for the red. And then the black wiring is the negative side. So, what we're going to do is we're going to wire this thing up. This red wiring is positive, and this black wiring is negative. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the camera down. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the camera off the tripod, put my phone down with the flashlight. All right. So what we're going to do is going to put the camera right here. I'm going to move the foam thing 
my phone light. And I'll move the move it over here so you could see it. And this right here is my Otis Lexan elevator button. And and this right here are the sides that we're going to replace the wiring in. So here's my battery wiring, which is here. The red goes here and the black goes here. So we're going to set it down right here to make sure that is correct. And um, now, but at least here is my screwdriver. So to do this, what, what you're going to do is we're going to unscrew this, the, the negative side. Let me get it correctly. All right, now let's see if it'll screw open. It should work. Oh, I think, I think it might be stuck. Hold on, let me get a better screw. This one's kind of tough. All right. This right here is a compact screwdriver. And this one, I've used this one yesterday ago, and it's a lot easier than... Oop, my camera just dropped. That was stupid. Sorry about that. My phone's pretty heavy. Once this will focus, this right here is the compact screwdriver, and it's a lot easier, so... We're going to use this other than the smaller one. The smaller one's way too tough. So what we're going to do is once this camera will focus, we're going to unscrew it right here on camera. Let it focus. Now it's focused. So what we're going to do is unscrew it. Oh, it moved. Oh. oh, by the way, I have to tell you, when you're, when you're, um, when you're turning the screw, make sure, as a disclaimer, make sure that your thumb is away from here. I was I was told yes I was told by my father yesterday never put your thumb close because because this thing is really sharp and it could pinch and it, and it could scratch your skin and you can get and you can get bloody get bloody drips all over on your all over on your thumb or your hand so I just want to inform you guys please be careful and I I luckily I did not get scratched but yeah just to tell you make sure never ever put your finger or your thumb close to where you're turning the screw. Always keep away, so that way you will not get hurt or blood yourself. So let's continue unscrewing this thing. It's really tough. My god, this is so tough. Hopefully, hopefully I can unscrew it right. I'm not sure how I unscrewed it. Oh, that's, that's screwing it up. Sorry, I'm not really I'm not really well on how to unscrew this thing. There we go. Man, this is so tough. All right. So, we all know the black thing is the negative, so once this, once I get the camera to focus right, we're going to stick this and before we do that, we need to um we, we need to straighten this up. And then next we're going to do is we're going to stick this wiring inside here. This is kind of, this is going to be the most challenging work I've ever done. Just like I showed you, what you do is you stick it in there. My God, this is really tough. I'm not sure if you're seeing this or not. Let me try this side. If it doesn't work, then I'll do it off camera because I don't want to waste too much time. But what you're going to do is you're going to stick this in there. And the next, what you need to do is you have to tighten it up. So I'm going to do it off camera. So I'll come back in a little later. All right. I finally got this in. So what I did is I plugged this wire wiring in and then I turned the screw, like think clockwise, I believe. And then I tightened up until it's really tight so it done like so it done like come out. Now what I'm showing you is how to do the second one. I just tried it a second ago and however it just came out because something wasn't right. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna unscrew this we're gonna we're gonna unscrew this a little, which which is you have to screw it counterclockwise. Which you gotta be careful. Don't do it too fast or it'll like slip it off. 
you know, you just unscrew it like that. You might have to unscrew it all the way, and then what you need to do next is stick this little wiring inside here, and then screw it back up clockwise, which I'll show you. See, this is the wiring. What's this little focus? Focus camera. See, that's a little wire. You have to, like, you have to make it doesn't make sure it's it's not spread out before you plug it inside. So what you need, so so it's not so spread out. You plug it in back on the positive side. You like try to shove it in there. Gosh, this is hard. Shove it in there, and then um, what you do next is you screw it up. Put the screw in there. Make sure this thing is not coming out before you screw it up, which I'll show you. See, it's plugged in there, so it's plugged inside. What you do next is you screw it back up on camera. Make sure this thing doesn't fall. I just knocked this camera down like a few moments ago. It's a little focus. It's lost the focus. There we go. You take this screwdriver and you screw it back up on camera. My god, this is hard. Hopefully this thing doesn't fall out. Make sure this thing's plugged in there. And what you do next is you screw it back up. So you screw it up like this. Screw it clockwise. And what next you need to do is tighten it up. Tighten. Tighten up really, really, really hard. As hard as you can. Ugh. Yes, my arms, my hands are shaking because it's so tough. Alright, and for some reason this doesn't light up because you might have to push this thing down a little. And there you go. See? It now lights up. Isn't that cool? Did you like how I showed you how to update this? See what you do? See, this thing is like com kind of coming apart a little. So, what you have to do is just, you have to, you have to squeeze, you have to squeeze on this battery, and then make it light up. Because, look what happens if you let go. It will not light up. So, you have to squeeze it down like this, and make it light up when you've taken it out. Alright, so now we're, now it's time to put it back inside, the way where it was. So here it goes. Now it's time to place this thing back into the phone, back together. Before we do that, let's get one, let's get one more view of this um, newly updated elevator button. See? See, if you unsqueeze this uh, battery, it will not light up. You have to squeeze, you have to squeeze it, and this thing lights up. See that? Isn't that really cool? All you get a whole thing, whole view of it, see? I was I was wanting to take a still a still picture of it, but I think it's too hard. So there it is. Get one last view. It lights up green for up. Doesn't that sound really cool? All right. Make sure this thing is hooked. Yep, it is. So what we're gonna do is put the flashlight back up there. And what we will do next. So we're going to take this piece of foam and we're going to slide the battery wire inside here. See, there's a little, there's a little hole right here, which I'll show you. See that right there is a little hole where you slide the battery. Get over here. So careful not to try, bump the tripod again for my flashlight falls off or my phone. See what you're going to do is you're going to slide this thing in there which man this is really hard at tough and challenging Ooh, got it in there hopefully this thing does not fall off so you stick this thing in there and I hope this stays hmm wonder why it doesn't light up hmm now it works. All right, so what you do next is you turn it around, just like for a normal elevator panel, for up. 
Hmm, this is something strange. I'll fix it later off camera. So what you do is um, put the wirings down. What you need to do is put the wirings down and plug the elevator button inside. Plug it in there. Let's see if it'll work. Hmm, I guess there's something wrong. But anyways, that is how, this is how you wire up an elevator button like that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So, I'm going to stop the camera for now and try to fix this thing up. So, I'll come back later and, or, or that'll be it. So, I'm going to stop the camera for now and fix this thing and come back later. Alright, I finally fixed the problem. See, look at this. See that? I'm not sure if you're seeing this or not. See that right there? That's a little tape wrapper I just finally found out. I just pulled out a tape and then wrapped it. And, um, and I held that battery in there. And guess what? It is now working. So we're gonna, so now the final last thing is to plug, is plug this thing inside. Make sure that wiring doesn't, cause this, cause a while ago the wiring fell out and I have to replace it back inside. So this time we're not going to be taking out these elevator parts anymore because this thing is so challenging. I have to redo everything. And thank God I know how to do it. So let's make sure that thing works. So it does. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide it back inside. Make sure the wirings are in there. It doesn't come out. Make sure to, put, to, set, to shove the wiring in there. And now make slide it back up slide it back inside and I guess oh that oh that wire should not be squashed squashing the wire could break because I don't I don't want that to happen so now I guess um make sure you slide it in there the button works and the last thing to do is slide the button inside and there you have it so that is an updated video on my Otis Lexan elevator panel on how we wire up this elevator button. And before we end, let's take one last look at this button right here. This one is much easier to take out and take and slid it back inside. See? This thing has no wiring. I'm not really sure how he did this, but he like but I'll show you, see? This right here is a little little silver thing and this connects to the to the screws. There's a silver thing that connects to the screws right here. This one's a lot easier to to take it out and slide it back inside, but we're not we're no longer gonna mess with this elevator button ever again. See? See it's now working just fine. And what you do is you plug it back inside. And there you go. So that is all the video that I showed you. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and that concludes it all. That's it.